How's it going? Okay. Great to have. I'll take it for now. She's. I'll just hang on to him. Thanks.
Good evening. Uh, just as a couple of general reminders, uh, one, cell phones, uh, same song, uh, if you have them. If you could possibly please turn them on silent for me, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, once again, everything's being transcribed, so when you ask your questions, uh, your name, your affiliation, uh, and whomever the question is for to speak loudly and clearly into the mic. Uh, the two young ladies still will be bringing around the mics to you all, so just be mindful of that. And also, officiating questions. Oh, pardon questions or officiating questions, uh, please do not ask student athletes or coaches because because they can't answer the questions or they're not supposed to ask the questions. And did everyone get a stat sheet? Okay, anyone need a stat sheet? Okay, thank you.
Good evening. At this time, we have Michigan head coach Carol Hutchins, student athlete Sierra Romero, student athlete Abby, excuse me, student athlete Abby Ramirez, and student athlete Haley Wagner. Coach, general comments about the game, and then we open up for questions. Well, what a game. You know, what a game. And we didn't get very many runs, but you only have to get one more than the other team. And I have to tell you, when it's one nothing game against Florida, we played outstanding defense. I saw one of my old coaching buddies, Sharon Drysdale, from back in the 70s and 80s. I said, this is old school softball. Not a lot of runs scored. But it was all the defense, and the defense starts on the mound. And Haley Wagner was just one pitch focus, one pitch focus. And uh, I could not be proud of her effort and my whole team's effort. They rebounded from last night. They got it together. Our leadership got them together. And they came out here, and they just played Michigan softball. They had great enthusiasm, and they had great heart. All right, we open up for questions. Uh, Michael Kenny, Norman Transcripts here. Can you just talk about coming into this game, the you and this, the rest of the leaders, what were you trying to get across to the team on how trying to forget last night and just get ready for the night? You know, once, that, once that game was over, we completely forgot about it. Um, we put it past us. And we knew that they still had to beat us one more time. And we were just going to make sure that we came out playing Michigan softball and do that from the get-go. For Dan Oka, the ESPN 50. Haley, how tough was it to keep this Gator lineup to zero runs? They're a really tough lineup. I mean, they came out swinging, and I knew it was going to be tough. But I just went out there, and I just attacked them, and I wasn't going to let them beat me. Uh, Chris Crowder, Michigan Daily. Haley, after yesterday, there was a lot of emphasis on energy. Um, how did you maintain that energy with only one run cushion? How could I not have energy being here today? I mean, I'm in OKC, and I get to play – play for Michigan one more time and that's what that's what has my energy is that I'm here and I get to be with my team. Carol, um, Angelique Shingalis, Detroit News, you talked about defense. Can you talk about a Abby's contributions tonight? She had a double play in, and she also stopped that ball from going out of the infield that, that could have scored Hager. You can talk about Abby's defense all year. She's done an outstanding job at shortstop all year long and uh, she's just made made the plays for us and you know Haley is a contact pitcher so you got to have a, a good middle infield behind her and she certainly has a great one. Kevin Sanzo, Michigan Daily. Coach you have one game left to define this season and is it an advantage to you that you've been stressing that type of mentality taking it one pitch and one game at a time all year? Well I can guarantee you that one game is not going to define our season. We've been defining it all year and uh they asked me what I want this team to be remembered. I want to be remembered as a great Michigan team that played for Michigan and played for each other. This team's doing that, and that's all I can ask. Everything else will take care of itself. Ted James, Michigan Daily. Haley, for you, how much of a relief was it to get Hager to pop out late in the game, knowing you hopefully and likely weren't going to have to face her again? Um, you know what? I, I I mean, I just went after her. I attacked her, and I was going to find a way to get her out. And I was going to jam her up. I was going to throw my change up. I was going to go outside. I was doing whatever I can. And when I got her, I was pumped and I was excited. But it wasn't going to stop me for the rest of the game. And, Coach, for you, how evenly matched are these two teams? Hey, at the World Series, everybody's evenly matched. You know, some teams might be one, better at one thing. Some teams might be better at another thing. But uh, I think we're both very good teams, and we both have good offense. We both have good pitching. We both have good defense. And um, honestly, the game will be what the game will be. You know, we, if we can stay one pitch focused, we have a chance. Steve Kornacki, MGoBlue.com. I have two questions. One, it, one is for Abby and Sierra. Okay. You play behind Haley, and you know better than anybody what she gives a team. If you could both talk about what she gives your team when she's in the circle. Sierra, um, okay. Um, well, one thing is confidence. I mean, when she stepped out that, on that mound today, there was no doubt in my mind that she was there to get the job done. And playing behind someone who's up there, you know, ready to attack every, attack every batter is awesome. Um, just knowing that they're not going to give up, that helps your defense so much because they have confidence in you. And we just assure her every inning that we have her back. Abby. Um, I definitely say determination because she was 
she went out there tonight and she attacked them and she wasn't going to let anything get in her way. And um, that just makes everyone else feel so much more comfortable and have so much trust in her. And when we trust in her, it's so much easier for us to um, do our part to help her out. And Haley, talk about having them behind you and also what you thought you did, what you thought you did particularly well tonight. I mean, having my entire defense behind me, um, I trust and believe in them no matter what. I just said that I'm a contact pitcher, and that's true. And I know that if I just let, make them put it in play, that my defense is going to have my back the entire time. I mean, today I just went after them. I wasn't going to let them get in my way, and I was just making the ball spin and doing what I can. Hi, Jay. I also have two questions. Uh, first, your voice is a little hoarse. Um, the play with, with Sierra was what did you what did you make of that play at third? She's just being aggressive, and she's been aggressive all year for us. And so when you're aggressive like that, sometimes you're going to be out. I certainly didn't want to be out at third base on that play, but, uh, you know, it's just the way it happened, and sometimes you live and die by, you did, know, your philosophy. Did you think it was obstruction, though? Well, you know, I'm not the umpire. My second question is, you obviously have had success with Haley. Should we expect to see her on the mound uh, tomorrow night? I think we will definitely do everything we can to win tomorrow night. Uh, this is for the uh, players. It's a win to take all game tomorrow. Just what's going to be the, the mood and, uh, I guess, the attitude of the team heading into uh, tomorrow game, tomorrow's game? So, Haley. Um, I mean, this is the last game. This is what we've been working for all year. And if we were excited today, we're going to be even more excited tomorrow. And we're just going to come out there and keep playing Michigan softball. We're going to have fun, and we're going to attack, and we're going to do what we do. Abby. Like Haley said, we're going to attack. We're going to go out there and um, not make it too, uh, bigger than any other game. But also, um, we're just going to play with a lot of heart and never give up. Kind of like what they said, it's just another game. And we're just going to go out there and play Michigan softball. And if we do that, we should be just fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Sierra, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. And you, you mentioned that you, last night you forgot about last night's game. But how tough is it the way it ended with you on third base, a chance to score, you didn't go? Did, was it hard to get to sleep? Did you beat yourself up? Or, or how do you get rid of that so quickly? I mean, we weren't out of it. Um, you know, everyone's going to have their opinion whether I should have gone or not. But I was the only one in that game at that moment. And I made the decision that I made. And, I mean, I don't think it affected us. We won today, right? <laughs> Haley, Mark Snyder, Detroit Free Press. You call your own game, and now that, because you can do that, how does that affect momentum in, in terms of the flow you can get going on? Can, do you start going faster because of that? No. Um, I don't think I go any faster. It gives me time to not get distracted by the fans or anything else. I have to think about what pitch I want to throw next. And sometimes um, Jen Brendage, she uh, sometimes give it, gives Lauren a sign to what she thinks I should throw, and I decide if I want to throw it or not. But I just go out there, and I just keep my rhythm, and I just go after him. How long have you been doing that? Um, since Minnesota series. For the Tyler Scott, Michigan Daily, uh, for the players, what was different in your guys' approach and preparation and mentality before today's game versus maybe how you were feeling before yesterday's game one? Sierra. Um, it started with CeeLo. I mean, the second she stepped in the box, she came out swinging, and that's what we needed. We needed to attack from the get-go, and that's what we did. And even if it didn't go our way, we were just going to keep taking our hacks because once we stopped swinging, that's when, you know, we can't do anything. Abby? Um, I, th I think we, we always prepare the same. for We never prepare any differently. But um, I think today we just <laughs> had a lot more energy from the get-go, and we didn't wait, and we didn't hold back at all. So I think we just, like, put it all out there uh, from the beginning. Haley? I mean, I think they said it all. Um, it starts with the first pitch, and we go out there and we attack, and our energy was up, and CeeLo's got us going with the bats, and she's our spark of our team, and um, she's up there and ready to go, and it just carries on throughout the team. All right. Are there any other questions? All right, one more question. Yeah, Sierra, one last thing for you. For those of us that haven't seen you play live until you got here, tell us the story behind your eye black. It's fairly, it's fairly pronounced. <laughs> oh, uh I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I think it looks cool. Um, I don't know. I uh, I am very superstitious, and you can ask Megan about this. Whatever type of eye black she does, whether it's two stripes, three stripes, or none, I do whatever she does, and um, that's just how I am, and that's what I'll continue to do. All right, Coach Stuart Fleeves, thank you for your time. Thank you.
At this time, we have Florida head coach Tim Walton, student athlete Taylor Fuller, and student athlete Lauren Hager. Coach, general comments about the game, then we open up for questions. Well, first of all, congratulations to Michigan. thought they uh, played a, a really good defensive game. Uh, Haley Wagner pitched a, pitched a really good one, and uh, I thought their, their intensity right from pitch one was good. Really solid game, just a good softball game. You know, obviously we came up on the short end of the stick with the runs, but good softball play, some good uh, good defense all the way around. Um, you know, I uh, you know I know Michigan wants more hits, and four was enough to win for them. Um, but uh, but overall, you know, it's it's a game of uh, finding a way to get a hit with a runner scoring position. We weren't able to do that. Open up for questions. Uh, Pat Dooley Gainesville, son Taylor. When you hit that line drive, did you think you had gotten enough of it to get over her head? Um, I mean, Jess did a good job reading it. You can never know what's going through a runner's mind. My job was to hit the ball, and her job was to run. I mean, obviously, I can't sh say she did the wrong thing because, I mean, that's my teammate. I'm not going to throw her under the bus. But I thought she did it correctly. I did my job, she did hers, and we just couldn't get it all the way through. And, and Lauren, uh, how frustrating was it to keep shutting them down and just not be able to get, get runs? I mean, you spent a long time since you guys have felt this feeling of losing a game in the postseason. I mean, I didn't hit my best either. Um, she's a good pitcher. Credit to her. She did a great job. Um, I was just trying to go out there, throw up zeros, um, give my team a chance to win. That's what I, my plan has been this whole entire season, just give my team a chance to win. Um, I thought I did a good job, and I thought my hitters really did a fine, like a decent job too, getting on base. Tim, what did you see from Haley that was, uh, you know, causing so much problems with the offense? Um, yeah, I think, you know, I think the same old, same old. I mean, we might have um, – our swings might be a little bit long, especially this time of year. We didn't look like we were swinging. We didn't have um, – with her velocity and her movement, getting on our hands. I mean, to get on uh, and get on that many hands tells you a lot about the pitcher. I mean, if, if it was just one batter over and over again, then I could say, wow, just that one batter wasn't seeing the ball very well. But I thought overall, you know, she was doing a good job. Uh, threw enough change-ups, threw enough, uh, you know, a couple rise balls just to keep us honest. Um, but overall, I just thought, you know, I think the best description of it is she throws a really heavy ball. It's hard to leverage, and uh, we weren't able to get any leverage. Ted Jaynes, Michigan Daily. For the players, how evenly matched are these two teams? Lauren? Um, great. They have a great pitching staff. They have really great hitters. Um, I think that today was just a pitcher's duel, and, um, I mean, credit to her. She did a really good job on both sides, honestly. We had runners in scoring position. They did, too. Um, they just got the hit when they needed it. Tail. Oh, sorry. Um, I mean, we're both in the national championship for a reason. These are the two best teams in the country, and we're going to go out there and compete with each other. They just came on top today. Tyler Scott, Michigan Daily. Coach, the home team has won both games so far. Is that something you were looking forward to having on your side going into the final game? And is that something you really put a whole lot of stock in? Uh, yeah, I think I think you can. If you can come out and shut them out in the first inning, I think you can gain that momentum of the game and knowing you have the, the last at bat to – you know, to, to play with, I guess you can say. It changes your perspective a little bit. I mean, um, I don't know Coach Hutch's philosophy, but I know for me, I, I don't like to bunt a tie a whole, whole lot. And um, I think that that does help you, you know, being the home team where, you know, you can bunt a tie as the home team, but maybe not as much as the visitors. Tim, you talk a lot about uh, how when you fall behind, it changes your swings. Did you see that today, or was it just a matter of not being able to get a ball to drop or get the big hit? Yeah, I, I – I think a little bit. If if we hadn't gone three three and a third innings yesterday in the same kind of the same result, then I'd say, well, that the score kind of dictated that. But the swings looked pretty similar yesterday with a three zero lead, as opposed to today, you know, being down zero one. So uh, I, I just think it's it's her. We we struggled with her twice this season. We were able to generate enough offense um, in game one when we beat them two to one. In the game two, um, you know, we we got some hit by pitches and some walks, and then cup followed by a couple clutch hits. You know, and today we had, you know, six hits and, and you know, zero clutch hits. Shelby Knath with Gator Vision. Coach, Bailey Castro has been in a slump. What have you been telling her to keep her motivated when she gets up to the plate? Yeah, it's it's hard. You know, I, I think, um, you know, my heart feels for her the most. She's, she's, she's playing injured right now and trying to do her best. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's very obvious, you know, that I was ready to pinch hit for her in the, you know, in the seventh inning and, uh, I just went with on base percentage, to be honest with you. I mean, she's got the highest on base percentage on the team. I didn't want to pinch hit for her with somebody to, you know, she's, I just was hoping she could find a way to get on base no matter what it took. She's, um, I, don't, I know she's probably 0 for her last 21 or so. And um, at the end of the day, she's uh, still got a good on base percentage, 0 for 21. So we're just trying to play percentages. 
Yeah, uh, Coach Cliff Brunt from the Associated Press. Uh, can you talk about the position that you're in in terms of your pitchers? I mean, she didn't really throw very many pitches today. You got a couple of pitchers that proved themselves yesterday. What position are you in heading into tomorrow in that way? We're in a good position. You know, they can go back at us with uh, with with Wagner tomorrow, feeling good, living off the you know the momentum. Or they go back to Betza, who's you know had a, a good season as well. So I think we're both in a good position. Um, I guarantee you, however many pitchers they have on their team, how many pitchers we have on our team, tomorrow you're going to see them all, no matter what it takes to you know find a way to get a W. For Lauren and Taylor, you're going to wake up tomorrow. There's one game, season's over. What's going to be? How are you going to look at the day? How do you see tomorrow kind of unfolding before you even get to the ballpark? Lauren? I think it's going to be a little different um, for me. Um, not try to be so just do what I do every day, but um, be a little bit more competitive. Um, I obviously want to win. It's my last you know, game in a Gator uniform. That means a lot to me, and I just want to leave it all out there on the field and not play scared. Um, I mean, you'll definitely see a different energy. It's more than just the last softball game for us. It's putting our seniors out the right way, and we want to get that win for them. We want to get that win for each other because y'all don't see how hard we really work. Um, our coaches see that, and sometimes they don't even see it because we work on our own. So we really just want to send them out the right way, and there will definitely be a different energy. Lauren, you pitched uh, and started the game last year that clinched the national championship. What do you take from that experience, and how might you be able to use that to your advantage? Um, I think just being there. Um, today I felt calm and cool. I felt really good out there. Um, I think I, I'm just relaxed. It is a different feeling than I had la last year anyway. Last year I was a little nervous, um, you know, that big stage for the first time. But I felt cool, I felt calm, and I'm just going to come out there and be the competitor that everyone knows that I am. Are there any other questions? If not, Coach, thank you. Thanks, ladies.